The question is the vitamin deficiency seen in alcoholics. The options are B1, B12 and B2. So, B1 denotes thiamine deficiency. B12 stands for cobalamin deficiency and B2 is riboflavin. Okay, riboflavin deficiency. So, which vitamin deficiency is seen in alcoholics? So, we have to focus on the alcoholism. Okay, the patient who is a chronic alcoholic consumes ethanol that is ethyl alcohol. So, as this ethanol enters into the GI tract, into the intestine, okay, in small and large intestine, it inhibits the expression of specific transporter namely TH, TR1 and 2. So, what is this TH, TR? It is nothing but thiamine transporter, okay. So, it decreases or it inhibits the gene expression of thiamine transporter 1 as well as 2 in both small and large intestine. So, therefore, what happens? The thiamine transporters are not available to absorb thiamine from the intestinal lumen into the body. So, therefore, it results in thiamine deficiency. Okay. And this thiamine has a very important role in carbohydrate metabolism because it is required for certain important reactions in the carbohydrate metabolism. So, therefore, you can see that a chronic alcoholic patient will have certain nutritional deficiencies in specific thiamine deficiency is seen. So, therefore, here the right answer is going to be option 1 that is B1 thiamine deficiency is seen in alcoholic. We will also see some other important manifestations seen in the deficiency of all three vitamins given in the options. So, thiamine deficiency result in beriberi, Wernicke's encephalopathy and Korsakoff psychosis leading to wernicke korsakoff syndrome and lactic acidosis. And cobalamin that is B12 deficiency result in two types of anemia, pernicious anemia due to deficiency of intrinsic factor and megaloblastic anemia deficiency of folic acid and B12. And one of the important manifestation of B12 deficiency is subacute combined degeneration of spinal cord with demyelination seen in cerebral cortex. And then it increases the blood homocysteine levels because cobalamin is essential for converting homocysteine into methionine. So, therefore, in the deficiency, homocysteine is not getting converted, it accumulates in the body and therefore, it also gets excreted in the urine. So, homocysteine homocysteinemia and homocysteinuria and the last condition is methyl melonic aciduria it is nothing but the conversion of methyl melanyl coa into succinyl coa requires b12 so if it is deficient then this methyl melanyl coa is excreted in the urine in the form of methyl melanic acid okay and the last one is b2 riboflavin so riboflavin has got fad and fmn as the active coenzyme forms and this riboflavin the deficiency is very rare okay because it is produced within the okay, produced by the flora in the body and at the same time given in diet also therefore if the deficiency occurs it result in magenta colored tongue chelosis that is inflammation of the lips angular chelitis which you see in the commissures of the mouth and glossitis inflammation of the tongue so these are some of the important points that you should remember in case of deficiency of thiamine, cobalamin and riboflavin. So, here the question is the deficiency which is seen in alcoholic patients that is the alcohol will inhibit the absorption of thiamine by inhibiting the expression of thiamine transporter in the intestine. So, therefore, it is not getting absorbed into the body. So, therefore, the deficient vitamin is option 1, B1 that is thiamine.